What is he thinking? We don't need to hide. My heart was thrown into a panic, thumping loudly against my chest. Heat flushed to my face and blood raced through my body. Mel's soft breathing near my ear caused my heart to pound nonstop. If this keeps up, my heart's going to give out. Excuse me? Excuse me, can you hear me? I asked again, stared by his blank, unchanging expression. You surprised me. Huh? He doesn't look surprised by any stretch of the word. I didn't know you were younger than me. Yeah, is there any problem? Well, that's true. You look mature for your age, Mel. And you seem childish. Mel said, poking at my twin tails. Why not? You don't want a girlfriend? Why would I need a girlfriend? Why? I'm not going to try to force it. If someone ends up liking me, I'll treat them well. Yeah? I thought he had no interest in love. But... I guess I was wrong. Did it? Good. Smiling fondly, Mel patted the seating. I think this is the first time I've seen him smile. The glowing expression on his face tickled my heart. I didn't know he could make a face like this. Thank you too. Huh? Oh, it was nothing. Just glad I could help. I'm shocked to hear that coming from you, though. What kind of person did you think I was? I know how to show gratitude when it's deserved. <laughs> I guess. Do you think it's because we're buddies that my heart was racing and made me want to kiss you? What do you think? Mel acts pacing closer towards me. If I think about it, Maybe it'll come to me. That's why I wanted to know what you thought. Is it because we're buddies, or...? What are you trying to say? I'm sorry, it's just... You're not acting normal. Stuff happened. Mel looked extremely tired, rubbing his forehead with his hand. Is there anything I can do to help? There is. What? What is it? Stop being my buddy. W what are you doing? Sleeping. B b but why here? Why? Because it's my bed. Isn't this where you say you'll take the couch? Not happening. It hurts my back. Says the guy who sleeps on the hard bench in the greenhouse. Stop nitpicking. Mel said, pulling me into his arms. You're important to me. More than anything else. That's why I don't want to get you involved. Mel said, pulling my hand and pressing it onto his cheek. Then he dropped a kiss on the back of my hand. You worry about me, and I know that. I've been ignoring it on purpose. That's how much I want to protect you. <laughs> 